Here we got the second part for the 500k budget demon hunter for Diablo 3. In this video we will be covering the rest of the equipment that we didn't get to in part 1. Okay, so for the second ring, or second ring rather, we're going to be looking at two different things, or one of the same things, but the other thing is going to be different. So we're going to be looking at critical hit damage and dexterity, of course. For the dexterity value, let's say around 50, and the critical hit damage, let's try something like 31, and then put in our max buyout of 35k. However, we did have 30k left over from the ring we purchased before, so I'm actually going to put in a buyout of 60k, I'll say 5k. Um, no, we can't get anything for that price. Maybe 30? Okay, 29. Nope. 28. This is really all you get. Um, let's cycle through them. So we have 59 dexterity and 28 crit hit damage. The other stuff is not really important. Whereas we have 58, uh, 55, 54, and 53. Ooh, it's quite depressing actually. I was uh, expecting we could get a better ring. Yes, not. Um, well, anyway, maybe I'll try putting in 65,000, because we do have that extra, no? I'm sure we have some extra from before. I actually don't really remember what it is, but I would just go ahead and take the cheapest ring here. 58, 55, 54, 53. Um, actually, we got money, so let's just take this one that's 55. 53 dexterity difference between these two isn't going to make that much of a difference. And, yeah, dead ring of... Deadly Ring of Cruelty is what we're going to go with. We're done with the rings now, we can move on to the next piece of equipment. Alright guys, so we're going to look at belts now. Let's go ahead and head to the auction house. Equipment, armor, belt. And after the belt, we're only going to be looking at two things. So it'll be quite easy to buy. Dexterity and Vitality. So, and our buyer price is going to be 25k. Uh, and sorry, for the dexterity value, let's see if we can get something for 140. Not possible. 130. Ugh. Nice. Okay, so let's just cycle through these. 134 dex, 60 vitality. Very nice. Almost on par with my own belt. Uh, 135, but less vitality. I wouldn't go for that. Mmm, not really. 132 with 36 vitality. 137. 134. Oh, well, this also has the 4% life, if you, as, as you can see here, which is essentially vitality. But it's giving you back 4% life extra than your current uh, HP, which is, which can be quite a big boost depending on what your vitality turns out to be at the end. Um, it, and also, as well as this, these are the cheapest, and 134. Just debating what your uh, vitality would be at the end, because the 4% life could work out better than having a 16% vitality boost with these severe chains. Mm. Well, this is one that I can honestly say I'm not too sure about, but comparing Severe Chain to St. James, I don't know, these have 40 more armor, these have the 4% life, which can work out to be more beneficial, and the same exact dexterity. This, Although this has lightning resistance, uh, lightning is quite easy to dodge, actually. And yeah, I would just go ahead and go with these. So let's move on to the next piece of equipment now. Alright guys, now we're going to be looking for gloves, which are actually a very important part of a Demon Hunter's build, because you can have up to four or five important stats, which can greatly boost your efficiency out when you're um, hunting, essentially demon hunting. So here we have armor gloves, and we're going to be looking for three things with our 50k buyout, attack speed increased, dexterity, as always, and critical hit damage. Let's set the buyout to 50k and see what we can do with some values here. I'm gonna set the crit I'm gonna set the dexterity to 100 and the critical hit damage to maybe around 28 or so. And what do we have here? Um, we have three pages. It's a little too much, so I'm gonna refine the search to 7% attack speed. And nice, we have five gloves here. I'm gonna look through these, see if I can get anything. Here we have 100 dexterity, 8% attack speed, and 28. Well, the critical hit damage is kind of low. Um, let's see what we can find. Uh, anything else here? Uh, nope to these. Once again, I'd also say no to these. Um, these have the, the nicer dex here. 135, which is the highest so far we've seen. With the 7% attack speed increased, and 
critical hit damage by 29. Oh, these also have these have critical hit damage increase by 31%. Although they have a lower dex, the those 2% critical hit damage might work out to give you a higher DPS than 135 dexterity versus 118 would. Um, and as I said previously, critical hit damage pretty much makes you. That's what carries you as the glass cannon builds. Because whenever you get those critical hits, everything just blows up. That's exactly what we're looking for. So I'd suggest. I'd personally go with these, uh, these Fist Denials, and uh, yeah, the reason we're looking for attack speed as well is because with our budget for the amulet, we are a little too poor to afford um, to afford amulets with attack speed increase as well as the other values we're going to be looking for. So that's why we would have to get attack speed on the gloves. That's why I don't have attack speed on my gloves because I have attack speed on my amulet. But yeah, so. We're going to go ahead and go with Fist Denial here. It perfectly matches our budget, so we don't have anything left over, but that's okay. That's the reason we have the budget in the first place. So now we're going to move on to the next item, which happens to be, let me check, the uh, Bracers. Also a very important part of a Demon Hunter's build. Alright guys, now we got Bracers here. Let's go ahead and search in the Auction House for Armor Bracers. They are also very important, hence the max buyout of 50k. And I'll tell you why in a second. Obviously, we're going to be looking for dexterity, and the second value, which is the reason why they're important, is because they have critical hit chance on them. Search for a value of three for around for around three for the critical hit chance. Let's see if we can get anything for 140 on the dex, or how about 130? Nice. Let's look through these. 132 dex, and 3%, 3%, 137, 3%, 133, 130, with 59 vitality and 3.5%. As you can see, it has just been put up, 30k buyout. These are the ones we're going to be getting if they weren't already bought out. There we go, we got them. Uh, yeah, so even though they were less than 7 decks here, they did have the 0.5 extra percent on the critical hit chance, which always is uh, very nice to have. I'll show you guys an example. 3.5, so you won't find anything, but let's see what the cheapest one is. 80k, and those we only bought for 30k, so we saved around 50k right there. As well as that, they had what? vitality of 59 so I'll just put in 50 see what we come up with 130 K so we saved literally around 100 K give or take a couple of K's here and there on those bracers so that was great that's what um budget is all about it's all about you know searching the auction house and being able to find these deals these snipes is what I like to call them and be able to find these things and buy them out. As you can see, these are literally on par with my brace bracers. I remember buying these bracers, the ones I currently have equipped, Denial Knack, for 140k. So wow. So this was a great this is a great deal, and this is what I implore you guys to look for. You know, you don't always have to buy out as well, make bids, and you'll be able to find deals like this, just as I did. Anyway, now we're going to hop over to the next piece of equipment, which is the amulet. Also a big part of a demon hunter. Alright guys, now we got the amulet, which is also a very important one, hence the buyout of 50,000 gold. Let's head to armor, amulet, max buyout, 50,000. Whew, dexterity, as always. <laughs> There's really never an armor piece without dexterity. Critical hit damage, and because we're kind of lacking on vitality, we're hoping to get at least 600. We're gonna put in vitality there. For the values, let's see. I'm sorry, I'm a little out of breath here. Let's see if we can get 51. Maybe 80. We only got three here, that's pretty sad. Let's see if we can get 50. All right, what do we got here? Brutal necklace, 82. Dex, 26 of it, 54%, nice. 50%, however, you got 97 dex, 63 vit. Better vitality, better dexterity, less critical hit damage, but yeah, you know. 51%, 98 dexterity, highest so far, with the 15, 59 vitality, and critical hit damage increased by 51%. Okay, here we have 52%, we have the highest dex, 34 vitality with the socket. You know, honestly, if you added in another gem with the money you saved, the higher gem, you'd get 38 vitality, which is pretty much close enough 
to well it's better than this one for sure uh, and then as well as that you have the highest dexterity here and uh, one of the higher two of the critical hit damages 54 and then 52 I would go ahead and take this amulet you're not uh, saving any money with it it's just straight down on the 50k buyout but I think it's personally the uh, best choice for you it's got the highest dexterity the middle critical hit damage and a socket which you can always gem with if you don't need the vitality more dexterity or something else anyway let's go ahead and take that for our amulet next up we got the shoulders and then the last piece the head and then after the head we're going to be showing you guys the build and the gameplay so stay tuned <laughs> so we only got two pieces left here the shoulders and the helmet so we're going to go ahead and find the shoulders first so let's search them up. Shoulders, dexterity, vitality. Uh, we might even not. We might even not need to go for vitality. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Max buy up 20k. So we're not going to get that many options anyway. Uh, let's see what we can get. So I'm going to put in something like 140. We too get something here. Uh, these alone are pretty much on par even better than the shoulders that I have equipped at the moment. They have a less vitality, but they do have a greater dexterity. Um, wow. You know, I would just go out and straight ahead take these, but because I have to show you guys the process, I'm gonna search for some more. So let's see if we can get, I lowered the dexterity to 120 so we can get a higher vitality. Um, these are extremely cheap, wow. 8,000 gold, as you can see, it was recently put up at one day, 11 hours. Um, 138 dexterity. These have 127, not as much. But 82 vitality versus 76, I would take the higher dexterity. And these, these are cheaper as well, about 2,000 gold. Always saving, that's what we do here on S Gaming R. Um, yeah, so these are the ones I'm actually gonna go with. These are the shoulders. We don't need to look at all resistance because it's kind of unnecessary for our build at the moment. And yeah, so the next is the head. And then, as I said previously, I'll show you guys the build in the next video. Alright guys, we are finally looking at the last piece here. We're going to go ahead and go to equipment, armor, helmet to top it off. And the values, of course, as always, dexterity. And just in case, a socket would be nice. So the uh, buyout value is 30,000 gold. Let me input that. 30,000. And, you know, as a, I'm going to see if we can get any crit hit chance. I don't think so. Or any decent crit hit chance. But now let's just test dexterity values. So 100, probably not, yeah. 80, 60, okay. We get them for 60, let's, all right, 70. 70 we are checking. Um, this is very nice. We have 71 dexterity. And the, on helmets, the point of the socket is that you can put a, an amethyst or an amethyst, however you pronounce it, inside there. Which, as you can see, there's a flawless square amethyst inside there, which gives that uh, helmet 12% life, which is very nice. So that's essentially the vitality. That, that covers the vitality right, right there. Um, so I'm going to sort out through crit hit chance now by putting 4, 3.5, we got 2 for 3.5 here, let's compare these two, 72 dexterity, um, alright, hang on, I'm going to put it back down to 3 because we had a larger choice, so okay, we have 71 here, 76, 76, this also has the regen life, 72, and 72. Now, I'm liking this one because, as you can see here, it has the extra 2.0% chance to fear on hit. Now, if you don't know what that means, there's a 2% chance that whenever you hit an enemy, um, what happens is that it kind of runs away. It just walks backward. That's what fear is. Which is always that, it's not, you know, what we're looking for, but it's always that extra addition that can be helpful. Um, however, and this also has the 3.5. So I think that we're going to go with this one. It'll be the most beneficial to our builds because it's just giving us that small tiny percent chance that we can make monsters kind of run away in fear. As well as that, it's got the socket. We can put the flawless square amethyst in it for 12% uh, extra life. 
and 3.5% as well as 72 dex. So this is what we're going to go with. And yeah, now we're done with the, the armor. I'm going to equip everything and we'll show you guys the build. <laughs> 